How to record internal desktop audio with OBS Studio on an Apple Mac computer using the Black Hole driver. Black Hole is a virtual audio loopback driver that routes audio between apps. The Black Hole driver is provided by Existential Audio. First, go to existential.audio slash black hole. On the web page, either donate $10 or click I can't afford to donate. Then, register your email and your name and click send link to download. Check your email and Existential Audio will send you a link where you can download the black hole driver. You have an option for 2 channel, 16 channel, or 64 channels. CH is channels. I use the black hole 16 channel. So install the black hole driver. It will show up as black hole V026 package. PKG. Once you've installed the black hole driver, go to Apple's Audio MIDI Setup. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Where is this app? Go to the Apps folder, then go to Utilities. On the first row, look for Audio MIDI Setup. The icon is a piano. Next, first verify that you have installed the black hole driver. On the right hand column, see that you have black hole 16 channel. Next, go to the lower left corner and click the plus sign. Then, select Create Multi-Output Device. You can change the name of the multi-output device. I did this earlier today. Let me show you what I did here. Multi-output device OBS. This is what I did earlier today. I named it multi-output device OBS. And you want to click built-in output and black hole 16CH. You want to click both of these. Next, go to settings. Sorry. Next, go to OBS, the OBS app, and in the lower right hand corner, click Settings. Then, go to Audio, look at the section, the second section, the title is Global Audio Devices, Desktop Audio. Select Black Hole 16CH. Desktop Audio Black Hole 16CH. Click OK. Next, go to Apple's System Preferences. Click Sound. And go to the Outputs tab. Currently, I have it set up in the default internal speakers built in. And those are the speakers uh, built into my iMac. Now, what we're going to do is once we're ready to record, we're going to click Multi Output Device OBS. And this is what we just created Multi Output Device OBS.
So the default is internal speakers built in, multi-output device OBS is what we're selecting, and that's how, uh, that's how we record the internal audio on the uh, OBS Studio. So going back to the OBS Studio, I have a window capture of this YouTube video with copyright free music. So I'm going to push play here. So the YouTube video is playing. And if you look at the audio mixer in the OBS Studio, the desktop audio meter is picking up the audio from the YouTube and the microphone is picking up my speech as well as the background music here. Now we can adjust the sounds of each one of these audio inputs. Now before we record though, you want to select multi-output device. Then hit record to start recording. And once you stop, it should have the audio from the desktop audio.